In this module, we will take an introductory look at the purpose and use of a network. In particular, we will look at the following. First, we will define a network, a basic definition will be given first. That would be followed by exploring some of the uses of a LAN. Incidentally, when I say LAN, it means a network. LAN stands for Local Area Network. Third, we will look at the hardware components, an overview again on this topic of a LAN. Then, of course, we will look at the software components of a LAN. And finally, we will look at the people who are involved in a LAN in the functioning of a LAN. We are looking at administrators, we are looking at users, etc. So we will take a brief look at all these three, five, all five components uh, with respect to a LAN. First, let us define a simple LAN. What is a LAN? LAN is basically a collection of computing devices that are networked together. Now, consider the setting up of a simple LAN in today's uh, business world. Uh, what we would use is we would use something called a switch that would be used for connecting, say, a different client computers. We'll call it C1, C2, C3. And of course, this also will be used for connecting the server. Uh, so this basically is a simple LAN. Then this server uh, can service all these clients. And this simple LAN could be connected to the external world through, for example, a router. And this router becomes the gateway to this LAN, this simple LAN that's shown here. And this router in turn can be connected to a backbone such as the FTDI backbone that is used on this campus. And there could be, there is usually another router or a gateway. You could have one or more of these gateways that would connect this backbone, the campus network to the external world. So this is access to the internet. So this is the definition of a network where you start with a simple network here expand that to your entire organization then of course you become part of the global network which incidentally is the internet what we have done so far as indicated earlier is to define a network or give an overview of a network the second topic slated for discussion is the uses of a LAN. What, what would we use a LAN for? Of course, the first of course we would use it to share resources. And when we talk about resources, uh, I would like to differentiate between two types of resources. The first one is known as a soft resource and the second one is a hard resource. What is a soft resource? A file or a folder qualify as a soft resource, whereas a printer for that matter qualifies as a hard resource. Why do we differentiate between the two? Because when we make these things available for sharing, uh, there is a difference between the two types of res resources. A folder can easily be made available for sharing, whereas when you share a printer, you also need to think about something called a driver for the printer. So network printers also require drivers so that we can share and use a printer on the network. We, we will study more about this later on. In addition to sharing resources, what else can we do? Because we have the network connected to the rest of the world, we can use network for messaging, email and other services. Uh, that basically helps us to share documents and other things and of course we could also collaborate in other words one or more people can work on a single document so messaging is uh, another service uh, another use of a LAN then of course we have the ability to run application servers now what do they do they for example provide services such as a web server they provide services such as a media server 
that is to stream media from the website so there is a whole range of applications uh, most in most of the time uh, they are internet web applications that for which we can use a a network uh, another application uh, for which we can use a network is to share a database so these are some of the major applications of a network now as the fourth topic I, I'm sorry as the third topic we chose hardware uh, let us look at a simple network again what do we need to set up the network in terms of the hardware we have a switch that is connected to different computers here and of course this one is a client C1, C2, C3 we have a server here we use cables in this case we use that twisted pair cable to connect uh, all these uh, computing devices in a network on the computer itself we will have something called a network interface card we will have a network interface card on the server as well sometimes we might use a more powerful network interface card on the server why is that so because it needs to be um, powerful as a server because it serves all the clients over here so this might be a 64-bit network interface card whereas this is a 32-bit network interface card so these are some of the software the hardware that we would use for setting up a network then of course we can connect this to a router router is a hardware as well so here is a quick uh, example of the network hardware 